Hi and welcome back to That Office Guy and today guys we are going to be showing you how to set up a VLOOKUP in under 60 seconds. This is an incredibly straightforward process and very very easy to do. Um, so if you find this video useful do go ahead and hit that like button for me and remember to subscribe. By subscribing you'll be kept up to date with all of the videos that we do here at That Office Guy for all of our hints and tips for Microsoft Office. Right, with that said and done, let's jump on over to Microsoft Excel and take a look at how to do this VLOOKUP in under 60 seconds. Fantastic, so here we are in Microsoft Excel and the first thing that we're just gonna talk about quickly is this table over here on the left-hand side. This is a very simple table with a list of names and a list of sales. Uh, our goal here is to basically return the sales value for a specific name um, and we're gonna show you how to do that in a VLOOKUP. We also have the breakdown of what a VLOOKUP actually consists of and that is ultimately four key things. The lookup value, the lookup array, the return column number and the match type. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go equals VLOOKUP. That opens up the, um, you know, the, the actual formula itself. We'll have that open bracket. And the first thing that it's asking for is a lookup value. So the lookup value is going to be this name here. We're going to hit comma. Then it wants a table array. The table array is all of these cells just here, uh, the entire table. So A and B in this particular case. We'll hit comma and it's going to look for the column index. We want to return the sales. That's going to be in the second column. So it's not in the first column, but the second column. Therefore, we put the number two to represent represent the second column. Um, if it was uh, the third column, we'd put a number three and so forth. Um, and we hit comma again. This is where we have to just show the formula whether we want an approximate match or an exact match. Okay, so we're going to go with exact match. This basically then just uh, ensures that we only find the results for our lookup value. And with that done, we'll close the bracket, press return, and we can see right here that actually, you know, Kate has a sales value of 500. We can cross check this very quickly by going down to Kate here and CM500. But we could also just do another check here. We can just type Nick, hit return, and we can see that Nick has sales of 100. So very, very easy formula to do, and only really consists of these four things, the lookup value, where the lookup value uh, and the return value will be found the return column and the match type. Now, just one important thing before we finish this formula off, and that is to understand where your lookup value has to be. The lookup value always has to be on the left-hand side of your return value. It does not have to be next to it side by side, but it has to always be on the left. You could have 10 column gap, um, but as long as the lookup value is always on the left, you won't have any problems whatsoever. So guys, that is how you go ahead and set up a VLOOKUP in under 60 seconds. Now to break that down in uh, a little bit more detail for those who, who might still be with us uh, wanting to understand exactly what's going on here. Uh, the first thing we have to understand is the lookup value has to match, okay, ideally, um, within our uh, name here. Now, obviously, you can use an, uh, an approximate match rather than an exact match, but that's less than ideal uh, when you're using something like this. Um, but it is possible, and there might be certain some circumstances where you might want to do that. But for most cases, you'll always want to have your match type as false because your lookup value should always be a unique ID where possible. Okay, and now the lookup array. As I briefly said, the lookup array um, you know, has to include both the lookup value column as well as the return column. Now, as I said before, you could have multiple column gaps in between these two things. Um, and your return column number just represents the column number that you're going to be returning. So, for example, we had this set as um, column two, right? But instead, that's now going to be column four. I can press return and still get the sales, right? Um, the only thing you can't do is have the uh, lookup value um, after your return value. If you're trying to return, if you're trying to look up sales and return the name, for example, it would fail because the lookup value always has to be on the left of the return value. Okay, so always make sure you structure it out with your I, your new unique IDs or your lookup values on the left hand side if you want to be using a V lookup. Now, obviously, um, you might have an error like this, right, where a reference error crops up. This is because uh, the column that you're trying to reference is actually outside of the columns array, right? So the table array is only for A and B, yet we've referenced to column four, which would be column D, right? Um, and therefore, it's out of range. So what we'd have to do here is either extend our range to include column D, i.e. change our A to B to becoming A to D, or 
change our, um, our number here to represent something that actually is inside of our table array. So we'll just go and put that back to a number two, press return, and that will get the sales back in. So your table array and your column return number, they have to be in sync, as in you cannot have a column number that is outside of your um, table array. Okay, so really important to understand that as well. Um, so yeah, guys, it is very, very straightforward to go about setting up these VLOOKUP um, formulas within your Excel documents. Um, you do obviously just have to understand those a few little things with regards to where your lookup values are, uh, making sure your column uh, reference number is inside the lookup array and that you're using uh, the appropriate matching type, you know, approximate match or an exact match, with exact match being the preferable one uh, all the way through. So if you have found this video useful, informative, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Um, and if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with all of the various different videos, uh, hints and tips that we do here at That Office Guy. And with that said, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.